150 products in 12 months, 126 left with nine months to go. This is Project PAN 2019. There are just two rules. Pick your own goal, put a dent in your stash. So let's see how I've done in March 2019. Firstly, the makeup, one product, browsings, brow shaping kit, all done, entirely pound. So browsings was the first brow product that I used and you really don't want to know how long I've had this for. There was no mold and no problems and uh, but I couldn't tell what the expiry date was because I had thrown away the external packaging. Wonder if one does for once because I normally keep the external packaging. Uh, anyway, I loved this. Uh, it's just that, you know, there are better bra products out there now. The sense they're more convenient ones where you don't need a separate brush and, you know, you don't need a two-step method uh, with the wax and with the powder and that sort of thing. So I won't be repurchasing this. That's it. I've got one more left. I know which I probably won't be panning this year. So that's the only makeup product that I've used. Now, let's get on with other products. One sunscreen product. I've been saving this. I've been saving and saving because it was so, 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 so good to wear beneath makeup. This is the Country and Stream uh, Honey UV Water Gel SPF 32. I prefer SPF 50, but this one, so lightweight, just like water, just like water absolutely delightful to apply no problems no whitish cast no greasiness nothing um this good will i be repurchasing no for two reasons first of all my dermatologist wants me to use spf 50. secondly this they do have an spf 50. uh secondly she wants me to use physical and mineral sunscreen only no more chemicals so i've got to listen to her so i won't be repurchasing that's the japanese sunscreens are so good to apply beneath makeup so 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 good so if you don't have a problem with chemical sunscreen it doesn't have a chemically smell it doesn't smell of anything at all uh if you're looking for a very 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 easy to apply aesthetically pleasing sunscreen um no grease ideal for oily skin um if you are all right with spf 32 i highly recommend this uh they are available on yes style as well as doco demo doco demo i'll link all of that in the description box so, onward with the skin care. Um, simple, kind to skin, cleansing facial wipes, all done. So, I only use wipes to take off waterproof eye makeup uh, and lip makeup. That's it. I don't use wipes on my skin. Bad idea that time, and I'm a Caroline Hirons fan. So, no, no to wipes, uh, apart from eye makeup and, uh, you know, lip makeup. So, that's why I use this. Will I repurchase? I've already got another one. They were nice for removing. Did the job. That's it. So next thing is a cleanser. This is Max Clinic uh, Massage Oil Foam. Came in, I think it was a Mimi box. Or some beauty box. Wish trend? I can't remember. It came in a beauty box. Um, absolutely loved it. It, uh, it What it was, it, it's actually an oil. And you start using it and it lathers up ever so slightly. I mean, not, you know, copious quantities of foam, like some Korean cleansers can um, churn out. But, uh, you know, very mild lather, very nice. I loved it. So will I repurchase? I've got about a billion oil cleansers to use up. No, really. So this one is made out of natural ingredients, primarily, apparently. That's what they claim. Um, and the other thing is that uh, with this, you don't need a second step, although I go in with second step, because cleansing junkie here, I have cleansing wardrobe. So lots of oil cleansers to use up. I might buy it after I run out because it's Korean cleansers are a lot cheaper. Second cleanser, Omarov, it's a more cream cleanser. And as you can see, I've really loved this. <laughs> I've chopped off the other end, got out every last bit out. Uh, this is a clay cleanser. This one came in my Look Fantastic Beauty Advent calendar last year. Uh, 30 mils of product and I absolutely loved it lightweight mild clay cleanser ideal to follow up uh, uh, follow uh, an oil cleanser with very very nice uh, and I actually like this more than the Ren clear calm, clear calm clay cleanser tongue twister the clear calm clear calm clay cleanser uh, because uh, that one is thicker and you know the pump has a problem it gets clogged if you don't use it every darn day uh, this one had no such problems lightweight not thick at all 
doesn't sting the face even if you've had laser believe me I've tried so very nice will I repurchase the prize my friends Omorovitsa uh, I'd love to let's see maybe when Cold Beauty or Space NK do a gift with purchase event so next is the famous pixie glow tonic fully empty there So this is my, I don't know, third, fourth, fifth, I've lost count after the second one, <laughs> bottle of this. Uh, I Will I repurchase? Already have, probably always will. And I'll tell you why. Because when you've had something like a derma stamping or laser procedure or even re when you're retinoling, prescription retinoin, this is the acid to use because it's very, very, very mild. There's aloe vera and ginseng for, you know, added so soothing. And this is also the right acid for me to use in the mornings, even when I'm tretinoin. So what I do is at night, I don't use acid on tretinoin days. Instead, I use this in the mornings. So laser weeks, first three days, obviously not. But, uh, you know, after the fourth day, this is the one I go to. So this is pro probably the only acid that I use these days. So will I repurchase all the ha have another three, four bottles? Not a PR sample, by the way, paid for this entirely by myself. The next thing is a hydrating toner. This is from Iope, Iope, Yop, I-O-P-E, Korean brand. This is their super vital extra moist softener. Now a softener is something like a Japanese lotion or you know, a rather thicker toner, a heavier toner. I mean, not thick, thick. Fairly, I mean, thicker than, you know, Pixie Glow Tonic, for instance. So, uh, I liked this. Will I repurchase? No, I didn't like the smell. It was a bit chemical -y, if that makes sense. Uh, medicinal, if that makes sense. Was it a fan? No. So, I won't be buying it because of the smell. What did it do for my skin? I think that it uh, helped soothe the post retinol peeling. So. Serum is next. It's Skin VC Effector 10. All empty and gone. Did it drop fallout? No. Thankfully not. It'll stain my floor if it did. So anyway, um, I don't use very strong vitamin C when I'm tretinoin, tretinoining, retinoling. Uh, instead, I go in for something very mild and its skin has this VC effect, which I wanted to try. That said, although I have another one left because I bought two at a time for whatever reason, I don't think this did anything for my post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation uh, or dark spots or anything really. It just, it was soothing, all right to use. Didn't harm, didn't really help either. So I won't be repurchasing. So a second serum, I mean, the first is vitamin C and for whatever reason, I don't consider vitamin C a serum. Uh, by the way, I use vitamin C in the mornings now because stretching Um So my actual serum for the last month was the Jolica Herbal Recovery Advanced Serum. Uh, I'll tell you the honest truth. I didn't love it. I feel that it made my face too dry, um, too dehydrated. I don't know how to describe it. It didn't really work for me. Maybe it was the tretinoin and maybe I needed more hydration with the tretinoin. Uh, I mean, I do have my sweet spot with hydration, lots of Hadalabo and uh, Kiku Masamune and uh, Cezanne and products like that. Lots of hyaluronic, lots of uh, ceramides. But this one, I don't know, I felt that it was drawing out the moisture from the skin, so it won't be repurchasing. I'm surprised I stuck to do with it, you know. The, the whole point of my project plan is to use up products. So, Facial Mist, Big C, Hydrating Milky Mist, not a PR sample bought, paid for by myself. Uh, this is, I can confirm, my dermatologist approved and um, you know, she, I mean, she saw it in my handbag when she was actually hunting around for a sunscreen to apply post laser and uh, looked at it and looked at the ingredients in the back and said, this is really nice. You should use this uh, if you feel dehydrated during the day. There's hyaluronic acid and black oat um, and it does what it says. Whenever I felt dehydrated during the day, one spritz put me right. Very, very, very nice. So not a PR sample, just telling the honest truth here. Will I repurchase? Pixie sent me the glow mist. 
and uh, the rose mist for review. So I've been using that. Once I finish that, I'll be able to tell if I liked this one better or that one. And then I'll decide uh, which to repurchase. Most probably it will be the Milky Mist because, you know, this one is uh, more suitable for oily skin types. That said, when you're retinoining, retinoling, whatever, that may be better. I don't know. I have to think about it. <laughs> So, moisturizer is up next. Clarins Ultra Matte Rebalancing Lotion for Oily Skin. So, this was everything but matte. It was definitely not matte. It was a bit uh, on the greasier side for me. Um, I mean, I have extremely oily skin. So, I wouldn't recommend it to somebody with uh, oily skin as such. Maybe normal to combination skin. But definitely, if you're oily, this is definitely not matte, matte, matte. It's definitely not very, very lightweight either. So, what's the difference? I know lots of products this month that I don't love. And Clarins is a brand where, you know, I usually find success with practically every product. So, that's the skincare. Now we're moving to Bath & Body. Uh, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. I had heard a lot, a lot, a lot about this. There was a lot of hype. The Midnight Recovery Concentrate and the Midnight Recovery Eye. I must say I was very disappointed. Haha, this month is like this. I'm sorry, can't be helped. Uh, did absolutely nothing. Was like applying some kind of lard to your under eye area. And I have very dry, dehydrated under eye areas. And it was like applying lard. It's very, very, or, you know, I don't know. Tallow? No melted butter to your under eye area. I didn't like it at all. No, not a fan. Won't be buying again, ever. So why did I finish it up? Because I paid a warm and a half for it and you know, it was either that or apply it on my heels. <laughs> so, uh, and not only that, you know, um, I like to get through products somehow before judging them, you know. Once you stop using them, is there some difference? And uh, uh, once you finish about a month's usage, is there some difference? That sort of thing. So that's how I judge my products. And that's why my skincare reviews are always late in the day, after I've used the products for at least a month or six weeks even. So I won't be repurchasing that. Next is a lip balm, which I will be repurchasing. This is the Nux Rev du Mail, very, very, very famous lip balm. Pot, empty. Uh, this is perfect for dry weather, winter, that sort of thing. And it's also perfect if you have some kind of lip problem. I had angular chelitis, which is this thing where, you know, you get these deep fissures, not chapping, not ordinary chapping. Believe me, you don't want to use ordinary chapstick when you have this problem. Go to a doctor, could be fungal, you need antifungals or antibiotics. Mine was fungal and I was on antifungals orally, uh, as well as a bunch of topical ointments as well. Anyway, this is when deep fissures form on the corners of your lips and you wake up with bleeding. Not chapping, mind you, this is fungal. So at the time, you have to throw away everything you've used. Uh, and I had to get rid of a toothbrush, no, two toothbrushes, a bunch of lip balms, two or three lipsticks and so on, and never touch them again because you don't want that fungus to come back, you know, to wreck her over and over and over and over and over. So the best thing to do is to apply a pot. I mean, lip balm from a pot, not apply a pot. Sorry, I'm completely mad today. Uh, to apply lip balm from a pot. And this was my choice because you can always wash your hands a million times uh, during application. So pot lip balm, always better if you have a lip problem. And this is gold for dry weather. Body butter, body lotion, body moisturizer is next. And this is Moroccan Oil's body souffle. I know who knew Moroccan Oil even had body moisturizing products, eh? So this was really nice. Uh, easy enough to apply, runny enough, um, and at the same time hydrating enough for the winter, but not my favorite because that would be the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream and other body butters. Not, you know, uh, good smelling enough, if you know what I mean. The next is a shower gel that I bought uh, from a drugstore while traveling on an emergency. This is Creme 21 Shower Gel. Apparently, it's a German, I mean, it's a huge German brand. It was my first time trying it. Uh, it smelled really nice. This is Wild Rose. It smells really, really good, believe me. Uh, will I repurchase? No, I'm a molten brown girl. So, 
uh, will be repurchasing. I like luxurious chargers. So finally, we have oopsie, these Pure Derm Wrinkle Reducer Gel Patches that are layered uh, above eye cream. And uh, you're supposed to remove these for 30 minutes or even sometimes an hour or so. And what I do is something very different. I apply them and go off to sleep. And when I wake up, they're all wrinkled up and pruny. And I quite enjoy wearing these. And I think they 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 occlude whatever you apply in your eye area. And I wake up with more hydrated under eye skin uh, than without these. So I think they're nice occlusive. So will I repurchase? Yes, maybe different brands. This came in a Mimi box, I think. Finally, one hair product, Bioterra 5-in-1 Cleansing Conditioner. I'm a cleansing conditioner junkie. Um, it's what I prefer. I prefer... Uh, co-washing and cleansing conditioners to shampooing. So uh, this one was thicker and not as slippy, slippery as I do like. I mean, uh, Wen does a very good job, lots of slippage there. Uh, Grow Gorgeous has lots and lots of slippage. Care Out Care has lots of slippage, slipperiness, slippiness, whatever you want to call it, you know, that feeling. This one, not quite, it was more like applying a proper conditioner to your hair. For that reason, I won't be repurchasing this one either. So, 17 beauty products done in March. Uh, I'm actually quite proud of that. Uh, which leaves me with 109 beauty products to get through for the rest of this year in nine months. That's about 12 products a month that I need to use up. 12, well, there's one left over. Anyway, can I make it? Stay tuned to my project plan series to find out. And uh, do hit me up uh, with your links to your project plan uh, updates. You know, if you've finished something, do post it on your Instagram or Twitter and do hit me up. I'd love to see. Um, and uh, or you just put them in my community tab or wherever or link them down below or just tell me what you've used up if you haven't posted. That's perfectly fine. Let's do this together and put it into Nastasha's. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please do hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. I will speak to you soon.